Welcome. In this video it is going to be a part of the level one training on how to create a WordPress website and turn it into a membership site. In level one what we're going to be doing is actually building this website. And what I'm going to be doing right now, this is the very first video inside of the membership site, is installing the WordPress plugins. So let's log into the dashboard of our website. The way we log into our dashboard is we type in our domain name just like this. Then we enter wp-admin. Now this is your WordPress username and password, not your cPanel username and password. You enter it, you click remember me, and you log in. Alright, when you're inside, the first thing you do is go to your plugins and click on Install Plugins. And click here and delete Hello Dolly. Yes, delete these files. What we need to do is activate the Kismet. What we need to do is enter your API Kismet key. To do this, we have to go and sign up for an API Kismet key, so you click here. You click on Get an API Kismet Key. Alright, what we do on this page is we sign up for a WordPress.com account if we don't have one. And you just go through the steps that they ask you to do here. If you already do have a WordPress account, you click here. And you enter in your email address for WordPress and your password. And you sign in. Okay, from here, you click on Personal Blogs and sign up. And you can control how much you pay. Watch this little smiley face guy when you give him more money. He gets pretty happy. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and he's pretty sad. But you enter in your name. And you click on Continue. And this will give you a key right from here. What you want to do is make sure that you never give out your Kismet key because it's just like a password and a username on the internet. That's why you see mine is covered up here on the left. So what you do is you copy it and it says we have also sent this key to your email address so you can keep a record of it. Now let's go back to our website. Alright, back inside of the plugin section in your dashboard, you've got to go enter your a Kismet API key and all you do is just pop it right in here and you click auto delete spam and show the number of comments you've approved beside each comment author and click on update options and that's what I'm going to do right now okay and after you've updated it you go back to installed plugins and now it's time to start adding a whole pile more I've got a whole list here and what I'll do is I'll leave this list someplace on the, the blog. Anyway, back on the website, you go add new. And the first plugin we're going to add here is called All in One SEO Pack. And search plugins. And it's this one right up top here install now and what you want to do is activate it now we go back to add new and this plugin is going to be a little bit different this one you have to go and search for do a Google search here you type in Jeff Johnson's traffic getting plugin and you do your Google search click right here and what you need to do is click on traffic getting SEO plugin right here you enter in your email address and what he does is he sends this to you in email now it takes four to five days for this to come in your email so from here you can go on and install the other plugins I'm about to show you after I install this one. And then when it does arrive to your email box, you will know what to do with it. 
but what happens is it comes in your email box and he sends you to a download link and you download it and it ends up on your desktop on your hard drive like this here it is right here so this time we go back to the plugin section we go add new we go upload browse just click on this and open it install it and this plugin is a little bit bigger than some so it takes a second here to upload activate it and now we need to confirm blog system requirements and agree to the terms of service install TGSP and proceed I agree to the company terms of service I want to optimize my blog now now we scroll down we apply blog tweaks okay we scroll back down we install the recommended plugins now all these extra plugins you see on the left we need to install and activate the easiest way to do this is right click right here open in a new tab go through all of these the same way this is a lot easier I must admit than searching for these all one at a time now we go to each one click on install now Then we go back to each one and we activate it. Now we can close all of these up. Okay, we're back in the original window now. Just refresh, and these should all end up green. And we are good to go. So now let's go back to our plugins page. And what I'm going to do is go through these plugins here one at a time. This one's covered, this one's covered. Bulletproof security we need. So again, we add new search install now and this plugin here let's activate it requires a little bit of setup and this is one that you want to keep up to date all the time so let's go to our settings I want to show you what this page looks like over on your left you're going to notice these two we need to pay attention to and one two three four radio buttons on the left so we create default HT access file we create secure HT access file we bulletproof our top radio button We bulletproof our second radio button down. Let's go to our third one. Bulletproof it. This time we want to go to backup and restore. And over here we have three radio buttons. One, two, three. Click on the top one. Back up your files and the page just took us to the third one down here we just click this one, just skip this one click the bottom one back up master files 
Now we go back to our security status. This is the one that's important. What you want to do is keep everything here green. If you see anything red here, you have to go through what I just showed you all over again. So now let's go back to our plugins. Installed. Okay, that takes care of bulletproof security. A CBNet ping optimizer. As you can see here, it says doesn't do anything, isn't needed. <laughs> it used to be very important. But WordPress with their updates, now it says core WordPress handling of pings is oh so fine. These guys are funny. Okay, after CBNet ping optimizer, we have contact form 7. So let's go back to the plugins. Let's add new. Let's search. And make sure you get the right one. There are so many thousands upon thousands of plugins out there. Anyway, it's this one right here. Install it. Activate it. Now let's set this one up while we're here. This one needs its own page. So what I want to do now is go to Pages, Add New. And here's where you add your contact page. It could be Contact Us, Contact Me, depending on what your business is. For me, it's Contact Me. And what you want to do here is click Disable Sociable. And you want to publish this page. Now we go back to Contact. Click on it. And highlight this from the outside arrow to the outside arrow. Copy it. Go back to your pages. All pages. Now let's open this website up so you can see what's happening here. Right now when someone clicks on contact me, they see nothing. So let's fix that. Let's go back to pages. And let's edit this. Now here you want to go to text. Not visual, but text. Click here. And you paste that little code right here, that little snippet, and you go update. Back on this page. Now if someone goes to contact me, they've got a contact form. And what you would want to do at this point is actually test this page to make sure it works. Just make sure that this website, your new website, can get through to your email address. So that's contact form 7. Let's go back to our plugins. Installed plugins. Okay, what's next on our list here? It's actually the Fidget. And there's not a lot of difference between a widget and a plugin. If we go to our website, our widgets go over in the sidebar. The thing is, the Fidget widget actually installs like a plugin. But first we have to get rid of all of this stuff in the sidebar so we can install it here. So in order to get rid of all of this stuff, in your search bar you may want to add it someplace later. And where you add it all depends on which WordPress theme that you use. Let's go back here. This time we go to Appearance. Widgets. Now the easy way to get rid of all of the stuff out of the sidebar is just grab all of this stuff, left click and hold. And drag it over into here. Now if we go back here and refresh. See how that search bar is gone. So let's just do this same thing to all of this stuff. Now when we come back and refresh. Our sidebar is empty. So now we go back to our plugins, add new, and we search for Fidget, F E E D J I T. Search. And here it is, right here. Install it. 
and activate it. Now we go back to our appearance and our widgets. Right here you're going to see Fidget. Again you just left click and hold and drag it right over here into your main sidebar area. And just click save and close. Now when we come back here and refresh, there we are. You're not going to see all of this of course. The reason I have a lot of visitors here is because it's running off my other domain, right? So this is two different WordPress websites, but it's all on the same domain name. And I really like how this keeps track of your visitors. And when you get to the point where you're going to see Google sending visitors your way, you're well on your way. Okay, now, so let's go back to Dashboard and Plugins. And what's next? All right, what's next is the Google Privacy Policy. So again, we come back, we go to Add New. We search for the Google Privacy Policy. And we install it. And we activate it. This time I need to go to settings, click right here. We pick this up from the outside of the arrow to the outside of the arrow. Highlight it, copy it. And again, we're going to need to add a new page. So we go to pages, add new. my privacy policy and again we disable the sociable plugin now let's publish it let's go back here and refresh right now the privacy policy looks like this blank so again over here we go make sure it's on text not visual Click right there, paste, update it, come back to the page. Now when someone clicks on your privacy policy, and some people do, and also Google likes that you have a privacy policy on your website. You have just created your privacy policy. Back on this page, let's go back to our plugins. Next we have Google XML video site map. So let's add new. Search for it. Google XML site map for videos is the right one. Install it. Activate it. Let's go to Add New. This time let's go for Tiny MCE Advanced. SEO Presser Unlimited is the only one that's not free and I'm going to do it last. Search. Install now. activate it and there is one more left SEO presser is going to end up on our desktop here and I've been told that my desktop is a little bit too busy the reason I have all of this stuff here is because once you get training or giving away training videos people will be actually boring them how do I say it without your permission so this is a really good way of branding yourself and your training so that when this happens, you're covered. Okay, let's go back to our dashboard. Okay, as I said, the uh, SEO presser will come to your desktop like this. 
if you happen to buy it. As you can see, I did change my background here. And I'm going to include uh, a little bit of image training with this course. You'll need that maybe when you get to the header of your website. And I've got this JRuler Pro for you to download. Uh, free members of my website, I'm going to give it to you. And what that does, it's this thing right here. You can you know, go like this and flip it. goes up and down it just basically helps you measure your screen for your images so we'll just set that aside now SEO presser I'll get into a lesson on that in the future but for now I'm just going to show people how to upload it that do want to purchase it and it's not something that's absolutely necessary it's just a way of teaching you basically how to organize your blog posts I have the new version of SEO presser but I'm having such great results with the old version I'm still using the old version as opposed to the new updated version so let's install this puppy again you just add new you upload it you browse and you open it install now activate it and voila all of your plugins are now installed so let's go back to the dashboard that is it for lesson one lesson two what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to set all of these plugins up and I'll see you then